Morning everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's 11.34, Ash has gone to work. She left about an hour ago. Um, she's over at Sephora today. I know she got a good spot because she's already been into CVS and done some shopping. Her shift doesn't start till 12 o'clock. Ash is a little bit concerned because on one side of her hair, she feels like there's a bit of a line where it's darker and it, she's really self-conscious. She got home last night from work around quarter past 10 and she wanted me to highlight her hair but I hadn't even edited the video and I'd literally just eaten. I had that salad for dinner last night, just chopped it all up. It was really good, the one that I got from the um, pizza place on Sunday night. So I got it just in time before it turned. Today it wouldn't have been any good. But it was, just really, it was basically just lettuce, tomato, cucumber and um, pickled onion. It was really good and I had it with that. Low sodium balsamic vinaigrette from Panera Bread. So I'm just watching some vlogs and Steve, you jinxed me when you were asking about ironing the other day. I detest ironing. I iron my shirts if I need them ironed. Sometimes I get away with it because I have a wrinkle free setting on my um, dryer and if I can get things out in time, sometimes they're not so bad. And I wear a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be ironed like this shirt is that waffly type of stuff and it doesn't crease. But I went to put on, I'm into my flannels lately. So I'm, I wanted to wear, I pulled out like three different ones. I have all different colors. I have a bunch now, blues, greens, and reds basically, and a nice maroon one, but they all needed ironing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna iron this one. That's why I love this feature so much on this bedside locker. Um, yes, I'm going through my waters. I need another coffee. I've only had one coffee today and that's good because of the time. Um, but I love having this these two plugs in here. I don't know if you can really see them, but it's easy to it saves me having to bend so much with this flipping back. So, yay! Yeah, Pete's got his iPad. I have my usually have my charger in it for the camera because that's a very short charge lead, and my phone and iPad. You know, so I keep those ones plugged in all the time and just have the lead sticking out the little hole. It's brilliant. I'm going to iron this. Uh, I've got Louie up here. Louie's very whiny today. And I've got Roxy downstairs with Pete. Lou's over there. You see him, a little lump on the carpet. Very feeling, very sorry for himself. Our back steps from the back deck down are thick, full-on ice. There's so much, there was so much snow on the roof that when it was falling yesterday, it went all over the back steps and then it froze around five o'clock last night and it is thick so now we can't let Louis out the back so we have to take both dogs out on the lead um, because none of us can walk down those steps right now it's really treacherous and down the bottom on the concrete slab it's just pure black ice so we were waiting to see Pete was saying because there's so much ice on the roof at the moment he can put the ice melt on it and it will soften it and melt it but then the same thing will happen once the sun goes to the back of the house it will melt it off the roof again and do it again keep putting too much of the ice melt on your steps it's gonna start eating away at the steps and Pete built those steps he just did them over a year ago or two years ago just before we went to England Pete totally rebuilt, rebuilt the back steps it's quite the handyman is Pete I'm going to go back. I'm going to iron this now. My iron should be heated up. Yes, I smell it. It doesn't come out that often. And uh, actually, this is one I earned through Avon, believe it or not. I earned all these points one year and then they expire. So I needed a new iron. So that's it. All my hard work, that iron. Anyway, guys, love and leave you for now. Have a brilliant, brilliant day. And I will catch up with you shortly. Take care now. Bye. Everybody, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> It's nine o'clock at night. I have not had a chance to come back to you guys and say anything today. It's just been one of those days where it's like one thing after another. I had Katie this afternoon. She came home from work. She got home around seven and she took me over to Staples because I wanted to get some post-it notes and different things for this planner. Um, you all know how excited I was to get this planner. I've only just started really putting things in it and getting it sorted out but I am not very creative at all, so I'm going to watch some more videos. So literally at the moment I've just been putting my appointments in and I'm trying to keep track um, of water and I've made myself a list of things I want to do over the next couple of days work-wise. Uh, just I've had this headache today. I'm not going to lie, I don't feel the greatest. That's another reason 
I didn't pick up the camera because I don't constantly want to be whining at you guys saying I don't feel well. I noticed last night when I was talking, um, I said, oh, I'm really tired. And then it looked like I'm whinging. But I know it's the disc in my neck that's playing up today because I can't put my head back very far. Um, I, I've got a pain from like this side down it's like in my ear so my ears bother me and then it's in my neck and this is where I have a compressed disc in my lower neck also so um it's probably a good job I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow I don't even want to go I do not want to go see him but when I did see him last year he mentioned me going to do maybe try some more physical therapy on my back to try and strengthen it because I've told him I'm absolutely petrified of doing any more surgery and like Pete with his compressed discs above his fusion, I also have two compressed discs above my fusion. The 30th of January was six years that I had my surgery and it was also my friend Michelle's birthday. I didn't mention that that day, my friend that passed away. And tomorrow is the anniversary of Michelle's death. So that's always a sad old day. Miss that lady, I miss her like crazy. You'd ask me to show you the book and give you a little tour of the book. Well, there's nothing in mine that's exciting, I can promise you. It's a nice little saying, If, like I said, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. It just has my name on it. And then on the back, I'm a cheese ball. I added a picture that we'd taken when we were doing Ashley's Christmas card picture and just put Pete, Ash and I on it. And you can order covers now. The nice thing with these is these snap off as everybody knows and you can just order different covers and they have a union jack ones but it's just a weekly on the go and it's a nice size i like it i like the colorful part of it and i'm really trying to be more organized you can see here i just kind of started adding in my bills because i didn't get it till when did i get it like the middle of january so i really haven't done too much with it at all with stickers and stuff i just ordered a bunch today off etsy you can see February. Look how many birthdays we have in February, guys. Tomorrow is my sister-in-law's birthday, Let, And then the day after is Katie's birthday. Then I have my other sister-in-law's birthday on the 11th. My brother-in-law's birthday on the 14th. And my cousin in England is getting married on the 14th. And then we have Pete's mother's birthday on the 21st. And then Grandma's birthday was the 24th. And my friend Kat's birthday, I've got to put the, well, Grandma's past. This is the first year I haven't put her birthday in here. It's weird. And um, my friend Kat's birthday. But So I've just started today, really, to be honest with you. I've just started to really start filling it in and doing all my little doodads. <laughs> Look at me. Yes, I had a Starbucks with Ash. And then tonight I had a Starbucks with Ash. And there it is. Yay for Starbucks. And then my sister-in-law... This is the, you know, that was the month overview. Now, this is the weekly, which I absolutely love how they do morning, afternoon, and night. So I got these little cupcake things. This is my planner box. I've just stocked it up now, and I've been buying things since I ordered it. And tonight, that's why I went over to uh, Staples. My sister-in-law loves, as we call them in England, ladybirds, but you guys call them ladybugs. So I put that on the page and then obviously KD three to six and then I'm going to do laundry tomorrow night. <laughs> and then this, I'm just starting to make my list for Saturday. My Avon order goes in every two weeks. So yeah, and that's all I've done so far. But John, I definitely, when I get more into it and I start doing, I've been buying like all this tape that everybody uses, got the pretty daisy tape. And then I went and got some of these post-it notes in the hearts. And then I thought, post-it notes in the sun and I thought this would be good these are the home collection by post-it they have some fabulous things on here they have goals and notes so I figured what I would do cut one of these out stick it in here then if it doesn't get finished I can put it over to the next page so I can really keep track and I want to keep track of the weather and all different things like that I got some owls and some cameras, obviously, because Pete's a photographer, and there's lots of days we'll be doing photography, and then my Starbucks cups. These are just a few I got to start, and um, a little mixed one with different things on. So I'm going to try, you know, and then got these 
little post-it pockets. I think these are quite new. I've not seen these before. Um, all about organization. So this goes with Rocky and Rich's challenge. In the back here, they have all these pretty pages for notes. And people are like, oh, I don't use mine. They're too pretty. And I thought, well, you can't reuse them because they're attached to this book. You know what I mean? They're not loose pages. So, but they are pretty, look. I think. And then everyone talks about this perpetual calendar. I've got to fill all that out. So guys, I'm going to ask you again. I know you're going to hate me because I've asked you a couple of times and then all the computer crashes and that. I've only got a few birthdays saved. So if you want to send me your birthday, when your birthday is, so you get a shout out. And then, you know, if you want to private message me your address, um, some of you got Christmas cards from me, so you know I have your address, but other people... I would love to send you a card to say thank you for supporting our channel. So in the little pocket here, I just kept, you know, I've got different, these are my airmail stamps and some the American stamps. I've still got my Christmas ones Let's left. Let's get more snow tonight, but it's about, supposed to be just an inch, so no biggie. But then Sunday night, supposedly, we're going to get another six to eight inches. So we will see. Ash and I were driving around tonight and... The town better clean up our street in particular if they uh, if we're getting as much snow as they say over the weekend because um, cars are parked way out in the street and it's dangerous. Ash is going to have a giveaway on her channel because she's getting that tanning, sunless tanner. If anybody's interested in doing that, as soon as she gets her product to review, she'll do a review. I do have a code for the Erin... Condren uh, planners, if everybody, anybody's interested, I do have a code where you get, uh, I think it's $10 off. I can put that in the description tonight, if I remember. All right, guys, I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a wonderful day. Stacy. I hope everything went well for you today. We have been thinking about you all day. Just getting around to getting caught up on all the... Um, vlogs and everything again I am a bit behind and I do apologize but anyway I'm gonna love and leave you guys for tonight have a fantastic evening and I will see you all tomorrow bye guys